Okay guys, so I'm going to tie a, a variation of the chartreuse shrimp. Now, that's the wee fly there. Um, that's a tied on a, on a size 12 uh, double, partridge patriot double. Now, been four or five of them I've tied there tonight. So I just thought I'll tie myself a bigger one just in case I get to the river and it's fine and down out of a flood. Uh, the thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 801 yellow and the hook I have on the face is a size 10 partridge patriot double so I'm just going to simply come in get the thread started behind the eye of the hook just knock on a few turns and then see your waist tag a thread keep your thread tight you'll just be able to snap that away now the tail on the fly is chartreuse bucktail and I've just taken some here and stacked it to try and speed the tan up a tiny bit. Right. The length of the tail, it's always a personal preference. Some people like their tails really long, others like them short. It's up to you. On my flies, I just like to usually go about anywhere between a length and a half, the two lengths of the hook, the hook over the back. Right. Just keep your bucktail on top, just come around with a pinching loop and then tighten up. Now, as I tighten up, I'm going to hold my tail and I want to bring the thread down the shank of the hook. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to try and keep the body as level as I possibly can because there's, it's going to be a, a male or body. Don't want any lumps and bumps. Now, just come in from your bucktail. Uh, give it a tailored cut. Now I'm going to put two strands of flesh on the fly, just in the tail. And this is just off the last wee size 12 that I tied, so there's no point in wasting it. So this is just yellow crystal flesh. So just take the two strands. Tie it in, get it sitting the way you like. A couple of turns, fold this back, turn over the top, I'll hold that, and then you can come in and just trim away the excess of the flesh. Now, at this stage, I'm just going to bring my thread up, just hang in the cut ends of the bucktail to there. Now, there's a wee one there, it's just trying to escape, but we'll just knock him away. Now, the rib on the fly is going to be a black wire and this is just a uni wire in black by UTC so just take a length of this off don't cut it, just break it off your spool now, I'm just going to tie this in underneath on the way back down so a couple of turns, catch it in underneath bring the wire underneath the shank of the hook and then just simply bring your thread down, tying this in. Now the body, as I said at the start, is going to be a Mirage tinsel, enlarged by UTC. So let's take a length of this off. And then just simply, you can tie it on the side. So if you feel more comfortable tying it on the side, tie it on the side. I just like the sort of way I always tie my tinsels on the the top of the shank so now that I've tied it in I'm just going to run my thread up and then you can bring around your mirage tinsel right, just look at one turn slightly overlapping the last just bring it up the shank of the hook to there now right, just follow it around with your thread keeping a hold of your tinsel just follow it around with your thread and a couple of turns will hold that. You don't need to go crazy with turns. Two or three turns should hold any material. Just trim away the waste. And then you can bring up your black wire for your rib. You're looking four turns of the wire up the body to there. Now just keep a hold of the wire, same way I did with the tinsel, and just follow it across with your thread. A couple of turns. 
hold that in place, keep my your thread tight. You can bend and break away the wire. Now the front haggle, just getting a bit of thread down here, just a bit of a foundation for the front. The haggle on the fly is chartreuse and I'm just using a chartreuse cock saddle haggle. Now just going to get a feather off here and then just going to take away all the rubbish from the bottom. Now just want to check this before it had on just get the length that I like and then just take away the rubbish. Right. I'm just going to tie this in on the side around with a couple of turns going down fold back the stem take a couple of turns back up and just bring my thread down into position now keep your thread tight you can break that away and then you're just simply just fold back the fibers just bring them through your hand and just stroke them back and then you're just simply looking one turn in front of the other now the turns up to you depends on the favor of the the actual feather now i'm just going to throw in another one to there now just come around keeping a hold of your haggle nice and tight follow it around with your thread nice and tight turns now at this stage now fold everything back keeping your thread tight just keep your fold everything back keeping your thread tight just come up over the top of the, the stem of the haggle with your thread nice and tight <coughs> now still keep your thread tight never let it go you break that away now see that wee feller i wouldn't even i wouldn't throw that out because i know I'll, I'll get a wee size 12 or 14 out of that so i'll just leave it on my desk and then i just usually put them into a clear packet now to finish the fly off i'm gonna knock on a few jungle cap so i'll just get myself two nice eyes here take it away from the cape and then all I do is just get them lined up the best I can in my hand and then I just come in and just stroke back the fibers at the bottom to get myself a tan in point and just offer these up to the hook just going to fold them down each side then I'm just going to come around with a couple of loose turns now at this stage you can come in and see how I'm, how I'm fixed now, just like that make sure that they're the same length that one's just a wee tad too long so I'm just going to pull it in a bit just want to just make sure that they're the same length before you you secure them in because if they're not you'll not face the fly now I'm happy enough with that so I'm going to come around with another two tight turns and then I'm going to fold back the stems of the jungle cock and bring my thread up over the top of these nice and tight building my head up at the same time tying in the jungle cock now you don't want to be shy with the head on this fly keeping your thread tight going to come in and cut these away just because I've tied on the, the shinier part of the jungle cock so I usually like to break them off because it just gives me a, a neater cut but let me check yep that's okay so just got a couple of thread turns up over the parts of the jungle cock I've tied in or cut off sorry and then back down and then back up again now I'm going to keep the thread tight just come in with my whip finishing tool and throw in a whip finish put my thread up nice and tight and I'll just come in and trim away the the thread now I just like to put on a 
we drop a super glue just to seal everything up at the front. I'll just make the fly last that wee bit longer. Just get everything sealed up. And then once that's dry, I'll come in and just throw on a couple of coats of varnish on the head. Now, that's a great fly. And you, get, you can see it from the moon. It's that bright, but honestly, if you can tie flies in that colour when you get to the river, it's maybe fanning out out of a flood and there's maybe still a wee tinge of colour in the water. That would be a good fly to have in your box. So, look, give it a wee go and hopefully it can catch you a few fish.